Hello everyone, this is Sandra at the Whispering Well. So today we're going to have a look at an oracle deck which came to me in this lovely bag, this lovely lilac coloured bag. Um, <clears throat> and this deck was actually marked as seconds because there's a mark on the back of one of the cards. And basically because of that I got the deck for like half price which, you know, the little mark on the back of one card doesn't bother me at all. So this deck is the Witchwood Oracle Miss Mai's Victorian Oracle. So Witchwood Oracle is like, I'm just checking that, you know, you guys can see these, <coughs> is the name of the company. So here is the details here, but I will put the website below, which is witchwoodoracle.com. So find us online. It's a really nice business card, as well as that lovely feel to it. So that's their business card. <clears throat> like I say, it came in this lovely bag, this sort of hessian feeling bag which was really really nice which I didn't actually expect I just thought it would come wrapped in plastic or something so there's 32 reversible cards for fortune telling oracle readings and more plus guide cards so I really like this because it's got that Victorian like feel to it and that old fashioned fortune teller <laughs> vibe to it so that's the top card. It's really nice card stock, really smooth. It's that smooth, buttery type card stock and it's not thin, but not too thick either. Really, really nice card stock. These are the backs. Hoping you can see, okay. <clears throat> so those are the backs. <clears throat> and then we've got um, Witchwood Oracle and telling you a bit here peer into the unknown with this turn of the century inspired deck filled with elegance and mysticism the card meanings provided are meant as a guide only a starting point to help inspire your own intuition and so we've got that there and these are the guide cards obviously for each of the cards and gives you like a few little words there like for teacup facing replenishment contentment possibilities reversed waste discontent frivolity so we've got all of these which give us all of the cards and like a few words meanings to them and then we get into the actual cards and let me just show you this is the card that had the mark so you know just for that i i managed to get this this deck for like 12 pounds so you know that that doesn't bother me at all and you know i really liked sort of the look of these so um a very kind of um gothic looking as well which I really like and I suppose they're kind of a bit Lenormandy in a way I suppose by just picturing like one thing with words but that's um, totally fine so here we've got skeleton key and it's literally got a skull there in the key and I love all of this like old style decoration to it like really Victorian and gothic feeling I love the backs too, that purple. Um, salt. And these would be... I don't have another card with me, but I'm guessing these are, are going to be around about normal tarot size virtually. They might be slightly wider perhaps. But yeah, they're not the huge oracle size cards. So we have salt. We have bird cage, pot 
pocket watch. Lots of, you saw lots of Victorian men with pocket watches in the uh, pocket of their waistcoats. Absinthe was something they used to, was quite popular to take, wasn't it? Um, yeah, just so cool. Posy. I think these would be interesting, you know, just to do like a little, even just a little three card reading. Or you could even just pull maybe one card for the day. Invitation. Got a letter with the wax seal on it. <clears throat> Teacup. And it's in that kind of Victorian style. Teacup when they used to have tea. <clears throat> Candle, and one of these old fashioned holders, they're so cool those. Corset, very popular. I don't know how they managed to breathe in these things when you see how tightly they were pulled. Looking glass. Quite an ornate mirror or looking glass as they called it here. So I think that's what they used to call them back then, looking glass, not mirror. Clover. I hope you guys can see okay because it's really dismal day outside. <clears throat> the ladies fanning themselves. Look at the palm. How cool is that? Look at that. With all the lines and the names, what it all means. Moth. I have related on this channel, so some of you might remember that. It's even got the red eyes. Planchette. So this is what you would use on a Ouija board, which was also another popular thing in Victorian times. Telescope. Rose. Oh, that's really nice, and you've got that bit of colour there too. Laudanum, a popular thing for pain that they would have then. I think Queen Victoria had laudanum given to her with the birth of some of her children. Mask. <clears throat> The gentleman. Wow, this reminds me of Gerald over at the Hermit Mage and Tarot Stash because he has his moustache like that. The lady. A very Victorian looking both of those, aren't they? The waif. So child here holding a candlestick. Just looking at her, she reminds me a little bit of my um, eldest niece, who is eight. It's the face. <laughs> We've got the stranger. We've got the back of somebody here in black. Rapier. So this is like, kind of like a sword, but thinner, isn't it? Ship. That's cool. But 
the cup. <clears throat> Buckle on a belt there. And book. Oh, one more after that. So we have book and we have coffin. So that's really cool. 32 cards. Really nice um, deck. You know, especially for what I got them for, just for a little mark on the back. But, you know, I would have obviously paid full price for these if that's that's what they'd had there. But as I saw this one for seconds, I thought, well, you know, might, might as well. It's just one little mark on the back. But, yeah, but that's the... Um, website if any of you do want to um, go over if you do like these and um, purchase some for yourself and I will put it also in the description uh, box below so I hope you enjoyed seeing those I say it did come with this really nice bag as well and I hope everyone's doing well and I'll talk to you all soon bye